Hey everyone, uh, this is Ivy. Today we're going to talk about A Way Out. Um, a game that I've heard very little of and was very lucky to not see much of either. So exactly a year after it came out, I managed to not have spoiled it to myself in any way. If that doesn't deserve an award of sorts, I don't know what does. A reason I haven't played the game all this time was the notorious language lock that uh, Origin introduces for Russia and Poland as a justification for reduced game prices. B would agree with me that having an English-speaking audience and playing a game with a Russian hide would be at least weird. Um, thus I mentally buried the game till the sweet Origin premiere access, I got to play Anthem earlier. A way out is included in it and hallelujah, it had English available, so when we jumped. Um, so happy I did! Where do I start on the cool things the game has? Uh, the whole co-op mechanic is very thoroughly developed. Even when your friend is busy doing their character as part of story, there is always a lot of fun things for you to do meanwhile. Teamwork is essential in minor things like fishing, opening secret doors and triggering easter egg events and in major decision making that is affecting the flow of the story. It has to be the two of you doing things at the same time and agreeing on things or you can't progress otherwise. Mini games fuel the friendly rivalry and you can legit spend hours trying to beat your friend in the horseshoe throwing competition. This might or might not have happened. Split screen uh, stops being an issue after a few minutes of gameplay and all of the cut scenes transitions are made with a crazy good cinematics that you never even notice it. That's how smooth it, it's all done. The more you play, the more immersed you get. It's not just playing a game with a friend, it's a legit living inside a movie with everything cool that comes with it. There is a massive plot twist and a gameplay twist on a way out and spoilers are incoming. So if you haven't played the game yet, don't watch the video any further. You've learned everything you need to know to get it and play it. Do it. Do it. You won't regret it, trust me. Um, now, the spoiler part. A game does amazing. It making you play together and do things together long enough to bond you. Your friend is your partner in game. You can't do things without them. You're Bonnie and Clyde of the gaming universe. You complete each other till you don't. Till the game shows that one of you was a traitor all along and turns you against each other, not just plot wise, but gameplay wise as well. What used to be PVE becomes a legit PVP where you're forced to turn on your friend and start playing against each other. The game doesn't give you a compromise, uh, one of you, one of you has to die. One way or another it should happen and it was honestly the worst heartbreak I have ever experienced in any game before. Devs probably knew um, people are most likely to play the game with a friend or a family member. The bond is already strong, all the fun moments uh, in game make it stronger and then you turn against each other and actually feeling what Leo and Vincent must have felt. No matter which one dies, it's going to be sad and uh, absolutely heartbreaking. I definitely did cry my eyes out. Um, to sum it all up, A Way Out is a fantastic co-op game, done with consideration, care, professionalism and, and a lot of humor. This is exactly what a good co-op game should be like and if you haven't played it yet, what the hell are you waiting for? Honestly, what the hell are you waiting for? This was Ivy. Till the next time, bye-bye.